Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are heading for a big new career move in a major blow for Netflix. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have revealed wide open speculation that they are planning to move to streaming platform Disney. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to make a big new career move amid speculation they will soon cut ties with streaming giant Netflix, an expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have revealed wide open speculation that they are planning to move to another streaming platform, Disney. For months, there have been rumors that Netflix might end its relationship with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, or vice versa, which follows on from how Spotify stopped working with the couple last year. It got even more exciting when the couple went to the premiere of Bob Marley, One Love in Jamaica earlier this year. They even took photos with Brian Robbins, who is the CEO of Paramount Pictures. On Sunday, a new documentary about Prince Harry began streaming on the Disney-owned platform Hulu. The documentary features parts of the Duke's recent interview with Good Morning America, which he conducted while in Canada recently. Prince Harry's mission, life, family and Invictus Games began streaming on rival Netflix-owned and Disney service Hulu on Sunday, February 25. This includes Harry telling Good Morning America correspondent Will Reeve that he was grateful to be able to visit King Charles after his cancer diagnosis. The new Hulu documentary sees Prince William called, jealous of Harry's success at the Invictus Games, and also claims that Harry's father, King Charles, does not have a relationship with his grandchildren Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Hollywood and PR expert, Lynn Carrot of Pressbox PR, weighed in on Harry's latest documentary, revealing that it had caused controversy due to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's £80 million deal with Netflix, making it surprising that the documentary will not be shown on World Wide Web. She noted that Netflix, like Hulu, is one of its competitors. It's worth noting that Hulu is only available for streaming in the USA and not the UK, and the documentary was likely a prerequisite to the ABC interview he did with Good Morning America during the Invictus Games, she told Mail Online. Harry signed a statement to allow them to put this documentary together, ultimately, it's good PR for the Invictus Games. She then touched on the amount of money involved in their contract with Netflix and how it's likely that Harry and Hulu would have had to run this by Netflix before it was concluded, there would also be all sorts of clauses to jump over in the deal. She continued, it's also worth noting that Netflix previously streamed Prince Harry's documentary Heart of Invictus last year, which did not perform well in terms of streaming numbers. How it failed to make Netflix's top 10 list, she added, so it's possible that Netflix had first rejection for the documentary and they passed, given that they are currently focused on Meet Me at the Lake, which Harry and Meghan are producing, she said, however, this now opens up widespread speculation that, when their $100 million contract with Netflix expires in early 2025, will they plan to move to Disney, which owns Hulu.